here I have a knife that's made out of lignum vitae, the strongest wood in the whole wide world. Anyway, I wanted to test it out. Now I've seen other videos about knives that are made out of lignum vitae. However, one thing they failed to do in some of the other videos is fire harden the blade. You can see some of the moisture that comes out. That's what fire hardening does on wood is that it brings out the moisture and makes the wood even harder so it should cut even better it's tearing it some let me see if I can get that grain a little finer to where it's going to cut I've taken my edge off a little bit. Cardboard seems to be a little too much for it. Let me see, go ahead and find out whether it's going to cut this 5,000 pound strap or not. Which is rated for 5,000 pounds, not that it weighs 5,000 pounds. I'm not quite that strong. Yet. Here we go. Cannot pierce the strap. I still have a tip on it, but it did take some off of it. All right, so now I've got this edge to where the grain is riding right up the edge. I think that should help the strength a little bit, and I've resharpened it. Well. <clears throat> it done that anyway <clears throat> there's a splinter in it <laughs> all right I cut a little bit. I've lost most of my edge. <clears throat> well, that's as far as I think it's getting because I ain't got the energy to keep sawing on that thing and I don't have much of an edge left as you can see I gotta go resharpen that so let's see how it does on this cherry wood yeah, let's start with the bark here Okay, skins off the bark. Not bad. Did dull the edge just a little bit, but I've still got an edge up here, so. See, there's a little breaking going on. Uh, 
It'll shave the wood a little bit. That's about it. I don't think it's ready to dig into it. Yeah, that's all it's got to it. It's just splintering up the blade. Overall, I'm not really impressed anything about it. It just, it can't handle anything. Reminds me a lot of carbon fiber. It may be strong on the outside, but it does not hold an edge at all. Whoop. Uh, though it does give you splinters, apparently. Apparently you can stab with it. Yeah, I lost one of my teeth right there on the back. That was kind of predictable. The grains are not lined up on them at all. But it'll stab something. That would stab somebody for sure. So lictum bata does sink in water by the way. Even a thin little piece of it like a knife. A little plastic comb sinking water. Nope, plastic comb is floating. Well, so that's it. I'm not really impressed by anything it done. Strong on the outside, but quite weak and pathetic when it comes to cutting. And now I can add it to my collection of test knives. Starting over here, we got glass, magnesium, zinc, aluminum, lead, which is kind of a joke, I know, soft lead. Titanium, 300 stainless, 400 stainless, copper, and bronze. And now, lick them by time.